Good morning, my friends. It is Sunday, June 21st, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun, but I'm traveling. It's Father's Day and I've got to see my dad. So I wanna show you what I bring with me when I'm traveling for my prayers. I can't bring all my icons and my cats. <laughs> But here I have a small icon of Mary and the baby. So if I want something to look at that's beautiful, I focus on her. I'd like to pause for a moment from the daily office to talk to you about Father since it's Father's Day. As many of you know, Jesus spoke the native language of Aramaic, which was then um, taken and the gospel was written in Koine Greek, ancient Greek. But we know that Jesus' spoken words were in Aramaic, so in a way we don't even have the original translation of the gospels. But we do know that Jesus, when he spoke about God, used the word Abba. Now, Abba is often translated as Father which is an accurate translation. But Abba is more than just Father. Abba is the first sound that a baby makes to identify its loved ones when it's happy. It could be Baba Baba Baba, or it could be Mama Mama Mama, or it could be Da 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 Da. <laughs> the word is not really specific in terms of gender or even identity. It's a beautiful word. It's the most intimate word really that exists. The first sound that comes out of a baby when it's babbling, when it's happy, when it's loving someone. That's the name that Jesus used for God because he thought God was that close to him and God is that close to him and is that close to us our beloved, our ba 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 So I know that some of you have had wonderful fathers and some of you have had, have been wonderful fathers, but there may be others of you who never really knew their father or whose father abandoned them or whose father hurt them. There may be many of you whose fathers are in heaven. No matter where you are, think of that word Abba, ba 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 know that you have a heavenly mama dada <laughs> close one beloved one nurturing one the parent takes care of the child and the child is completely dependent upon the parent at the age that they would use that word and in such a way we are totally dependent on god god is holding us holding us just like we would hold or rock a child holding the whole planet. Ba, ba, ba. Think of God as being that close, that intimate, the provider, the caretaker who loves you and holds you. And happy Father's Day. Let us pray. We thank you, Almighty God, that we were born. We thank you for our fathers. We thank you for a chance to pause and give thanks for family. We ask you to bless all those who cannot see their family, those whose fathers have died, those who have no father. We ask you to bless the sick, and all those who are lonely, suffering. Bless those in need. Blanket this country with your grace, O oh Lord, that we may become wiser, just. Hold us in the palm of your hand. Help us to grow in wisdom and understanding, truthfulness, godliness, and to care for one another as you care for us. This we pray in the name of Christ, Jesus, who said, Baba. Amen. Happy Father's Day and have a great day.